It gives me great pleasure to greet everyone gathered to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the commencement of operations from Kathmandu of the United Nations Regional Center for Peace and Disarmament in Asia and the Pacific. The center was established by the General Assembly in 1987 and started operations in Kathmandu in August 2008. This new location significantly benefited the center's ability to work closely with the region's member states. I would like to express my gratitude to the government of Nepal for hosting and consistently supporting the center. The close working relationship will continue to strengthen peace and security across the Asia Pacific. The regional center serves 43 countries by raising awareness, conducting training, and capacity building projects, and providing substantive support on the wide array of topics. These range from controlling illicit small arms and supporting implementation of disarmament treaties and instruments, to acting at the sub-regional and regional levels to facilitate dialogue, confidence building, and gender mainstreaming in disarmament. The deteriorating international security environment makes our work of mainstreaming peace and security as important as ever. This May, the United Nations Secretary General launched his disarmament agenda, Securing Our Common Future, which is divided into three distinct but mutually reinforcing priorities. Disarmament to save humanity, disarmament that saves lives, and disarmament for future generations. With each of these pillars, he has placed people at the center of our efforts. The agenda stresses the importance of disarmament in promoting stability and security, ensuring national security, upholding the principles of humanity, promoting sustainable development, and safeguarding civilians in conflict. It is also important to stress the fundamental linkages between disarmament objectives and the sustainable development goals and between disarmament and development. The regional center in Kathmandu is vital in facilitating regional security dialogue and confidence building measures and in forging strategic partnerships with relevant regional organizations. The center remains committed to all countries in the region and stands ready to support their initiatives on strengthening, strengthening peace and security, including through the Kathmandu process. I call on all countries in the Asia Pacific to work closely with the regional center. Thank you.